In this video, we're going to review the training wizard that eClinicalWorks provides for the eClinicalWorks scribe function. It can be done in conjunction with Dragon Naturally Speaking, or you can type the commands. All of my demonstration will use Dragon Naturally Speaking. In this case, I have a patient window open, and it's open to the scribe view, which is accessed by clicking the scribe window here. This is where I would enter my scribe commands. This is the progress note where the commands would be inserted. In this case, we're going to go to the training wizard. To get there, we would go to this help button. When you click it, you will see several commands, which we'll review at a later time. But there's also this gear icon, which is for settings and the training wizard. In this case, we're going to go to the training wizard. When I click on it, we're going to do some training for one of the sections. I'm going to do training for HPI. So when I click on this, I scroll downwards to Next, and it's asking me to either type or dictate this text into the window. I'm going to do this with Dragon, and notice that I'm going to do it using the HPI command from the Dragon macros we downloaded and demonstrated in the second video. So I'm going to turn on Dragon and dictate. HPI, acute sick visit under urgent care, colon, new line, patient came in today with complaints of abdominal pain, comma, sore throat, comma, and fever, period. Most of his family is sick as well, period. He has taken ibuprofen, period. I've now turned Dragon back off. Eclinical work scribe can see that I did this correctly and I hit next and it shows that I have finished the scribe training. Now you'll notice on that first section that there are a number of areas where you can practice this and see some more specific commands. If you scroll down it gives you some more instructions after you've dictated or written into scribe you hit the scribe it button. It gives you some suggestions which we're going to review in just a moment on another video of some of the different commands um, it shows you how to look for assessments. And again, here is the little gear icon that we saw earlier, which lets us access the training wizard or to change the default settings as it states here. I would recommend that you go back and do the same process with several of the other sections beyond HPI to see how some of the commands work. I will demonstrate a couple more of them in the next video.